because some people are taking anatomy to be nurses, uh, PAs, PTs, OTs, o occupational therapy, and like that, and nutrition. Um, there's a wide range of experience and desire of dealing with a dead body. Uh, we have two two cadavers on two rolling uh, units in uh, mortuary chambers. The mortuary chambers are chilled down to about 40 degrees, and that's how we maintain the cadavers. In general, it's that first section uh, that's the introduction to put their mind at ease. Then I go in and uncover the cadaver. Usually they come uh, in with gauze cover but not plastic cover, and they see what looks like a mummy. After I talk to them a little bit about the use of tools um, and the uh, accuracy of what they do with uh, their, their time in the lab and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate as behavior, then I uncover a foot or I uncover a hand or something that's minimal. Sometimes I just start with a toe and I keep an eye on them because sometimes they, you can't read what's in someone's mind. It might be a large linebacker type guy and he'll keel over because he's afraid. It might be a little tiny uh, Asian woman and she wants to be on the cadaver and at the cadaver and doing dissection right away. You can't judge by the size. No book by its cover in this case. This is the opportunity for lower division community college students to uh, operate on a real uh, cadaver. The benefit is that you see the details of this wondrous thing that we call a human body. It's like the miraculous machine. And that doesn't seriously sink in on students until they get down and dirty with a scalpel, with a, uh, a hemostat, and find out the details of the nervous system, circulatory system, muscles, bones, other parts. And when they come away from this, it's like um, amazing. They, they can't help but get excited about the whole intricacy and the homeostasis of the human body.